Live from London, it's Amy and Natalie from Super Healthy Kids, and we wanted to bring you the best food you can make for your family, the healthiest food, even if your kids won't eat it. Okay, so today we're super excited because we love showing you guys products we love. <clears throat> and I want you guys to know, for reals, we only show you guys things we actually really love and we love Whisper's products so much that we sought out a relationship with them so we could bring you guys stuff like this. For and real, she was super aggressive about it. She's always calling them like, can we work with you? Can we work with you? Because you remember a few months back we brought you the Whisquare pancake um, pancake container. art kit. Pancake art kit. But now they have this cool like snack container line that we also love. So we wanted to show you what we put in the containers so that it'll give you some ideas on things you can take for your kids for healthy eating. And you'll want to stay with us to the end because the best part about this whole thing is they allowed us to give you guys a coupon code that's going to give you a humongous discount if you want to get one. Yes. So. Okay, so we'll talk about the products while we cook our food. So the first thing I wanted to do is this five minute skillet granola. The reason I love this is because a lot of times when you think of granola, number one, it's super expensive in the store, and number two, it usually takes... We're having technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> We have a camera guy here today, you guys, which is something we normally don't. That's so, true. So, okay, awesome. the reason this is cool, too, is because you don't have to just send sandwiches to school. So, I love sending breakfast foods to school with my kids, and one thing that we do is like a parfait kind of thing. Um, on Whisquare's blog, they have something similar, and they call it a Waldorf salad. But I'll Which, just, if you don't know what a Waldorf salad is, it's delicious. It's super delicious. I actually eat it all the time. So it's like your granola, your Greek yogurt, diced apples and grapes. Um, it's really yummy. And a lot of times kids, like lunch foods, don't appeal to kids. Like they get sick of sandwiches every day. And I'm sure sandwiches is on your mind, right? Because well, and honestly, half the time my kids don't get a sandwich for school is because we're out of bread. <laughs> So if I have like a way to make some five minute granola and I can put some fruit and some yogurt and the granola in one container, then I do. So all you're going to do for five minute granola is um, a little bit of oil. You can use olive oil. You can use um, coconut oil. Um, and then you use a sweetener. Sometimes I use maple syrup. Sometimes I use honey. So either one works. And you're going to melt the oil and your sweetener in a skillet. And then you're just going to sprinkle enough um, oats on top of it to um, just cover the bottom of your skillet. And then you just kind of mix it around until it gets toasty. Really, that's all there is to it. But the great part about it is after you do that, then I like to add things like cinnamon or um, nutmeg or salt. I'll also add some raisins. Um, what would you add to granola? Oh, seeds, like sunflower seeds mm -hmm. or... Um, I, I always add, I love adding chia to my oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, it's a little bit crunchy. My kids like it crunchy or after you soak it. They like that texture too. They call it bobos. Or bobas, what are those things? Oh, that... yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. This okay. is looking yummy. This is so good, and it smells so good. I haven't put the cinnamon in it yet either. But one cool thing about this is if your kids don't eat all of it at, at school or wherever you take it, these containers, you can um, spin the top off to separate them, and you could just put your leftover yogurt in the fridge, and you can put your leftover granola in the pantry. Totally. Because it's like sealed. So here's how they separate. And they lock together really snug so they don't fall off. And they have this cool little um, carrying, carrying handle. handle. You can put it on your backpack or whatever. So because I just want a little bit of granola, I'm just going to put that in the top um, one. And of course, wait for this to cool down. <laughs> I'm not a crazy mom like that. Like I'm not in that much of a hurry all the time. But I have some granola in the top 
I have some plain Greek yogurt in the middle, and I'm gonna chop up apples for the bottom. And this is this is easy to um, to put together. I mean, what that take me like three minutes, yeah. five minutes. So, and it's super good. And then once you get to school or once you get to wherever you want to eat this, you can just use a little spoon and combine it all in this big container on the bottom. So you'll see we have two different sizes. This is the bigger size, and then there's one that's more for little snacky foods, and it's um, called the mini. So we have a question, are they quick oats or still cut oats? So, um, Gina. yeah, mine are quick oats or rolled oats. I, I prefer rolled oats if I'm putting it in the skillet because um, it, it's a little bit hardier. But steel cutouts are a little too hardy. I don't feel like it gets soft enough for for the way I like granola. So quick oats or rolled oats for sure. Um, and if you guys want the recipe, you can um, actually we'll just post it. In, we'll post it in the comments. It is on our site, Super Healthy Kids. For well, with well we pumpkin, have we have a pumpkin yeah. skillet granola. Yeah. But that's my whole, that's the whole thing. Like, I would take this for breakfast somewhere. I, I would take it to, if I went to school, and I could take it to work because here I am. <laughs> so that's awesome, right? So there's our number one on-the-go healthy snack slash lunch. Waldorf salad Waldorf lunch. Waldorf salad lunch. That's what we're calling it. And oh my gosh, you guys, this really smells really good. Okay, Jennifer wants to know of a way for apples not to brown. That's a great yes. question. There's lots of ways. Um, you can sprinkle or put a little bit of lemon or lime juice in a bowl mm -hmm. and just swirl them in that. I usually mix it with a little water so it's not so strong. So a citrus, um, you can even squeeze orange on it. That works too. And pineapple juice. I like the pineapple, pineapple juice just because I like the way it tastes. Yeah. With I'm gonna eat some right now. Okay, I think you we, wanna try we like it? to taste some. Sorry, I told the guys that came here from Whisper today, I'm like, people just um, like to see us eat, but I was just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure you don't like to see us eat, but <gasps> we like to be We mess. like to eat. We're pretending we're kids. Okay, so it's crunchy, right? The oatmeal is super crunchy. It's I didn't even put any seasonings in it. I brought the cinnamon and I didn't put it in. Mm. This is totally good. Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Super delish. So. Okay. That's number one. Okay. Where do you get the containers, Lisa? Whisquare.com. And then. Don't order like, yet. Don't order yet. We're giving you a coupon <laughs> code. When you stay at the end. Or you can give it to them now. All right. <laughs> it's super secret. If you use the code SHK. For super healthy kids. And you buy two or more, so you could buy one of these and one of these. And they're only nine ninety nine. Two of these. If you buy two or more, you get fifty percent off on your entire order. So that's mm. basically five dollars each. Yeah. So this is that's a super good deal mm -hmm. with super healthy kids. <laughs> so use the code S H K. Um, it's only good till Monday. So get and on whisquare.com, which you dot have com. to click snack containers. Okay, so from Stephanie, here's a solution for apple brownie. Thank you, Stephanie. Two quarts of water, a fourth a cup white vinegar, and a teaspoon of salt. Let the mm. apple soak for a few minutes. Can apple you taste steak. the vinegar? Maybe. Um, yeah, that would Stephanie, be great let question. me know if you can taste the vinegar. I've never tried that because I've been worried about yeah. vinegar flavor. Uh -huh. um, also, like soda water works too, which is kind of neutral, but. All right. Oh, can I say one more thing about this? So the other reason this is better rather than putting it in one big lunch container is because your granola will get soggy if you leave it in the yogurt yeah. for until lunch. And so because these are like designed to be separated, um, then you don't get that like sogginess. Well, and honestly, you guys, the, probably the number one thing that people talk to us about is their picky eater. And one thing with picky eaters is if you send food that is mushed together in a container, not even a, a non-picky eater is going to want to eat it. And that's one reason we really, really love these. Kids like things separate. They do. They just don't like things to touch. And did you notice how I changed this? This little mini guy I put in the middle. You can, you can rearrange. And you can add. 
Like you, like so. See this one ahead of myself. I'll show you what's in it. But you can add to like the you, whole. You thing. can make it ten feet tall. <laughs> you can have like a a sword of this oh sword. <laughs> Don't do that. Your kids will get a not expelled. <laughs> expelled. <laughs> Okay, okay that's number so one. yes, whisker.com, Michelle is asking where the website is, we posted it in the comments, it's whisquare.com, and 50% off till Monday, you guys. So, yeah. okay, our next thing, we are going to make a blender guacamole, because guacamole is a really great food to send in lunches, and I'll tell you why. So, if you'll join me back here. And blender. anything creamy is going to stay in these containers. What you wouldn't want to put juice oh. in it or, you know, something really liquidy um, because that might leak a little, but creamy stuff like like guacamole, yogurt, dips, those all work really well. Yeah. Okay, watch out. This is the worst part about an avocado for me. Is the <laughs> seed. <laughs> okay, help me out. I can't I just have to do it. I just Okay, yeah. if you guys have comments about how to get the seed out, we'd love to know. <laughs> and Amy will read them. So okay. for this recipe, you're just going to take two um, avocados, and you want them fairly ripe, just because they taste better and um, it's easier to scoop. Jenna is saying they look secure, like little ones can't pull them apart. Very true. I can barely pull them apart. You have to twist. You have to do the twisting action. A child couldn't just do this. They but to talk. get the lid off isn't that hard, right? No, but a toddler probably couldn't. No, yeah. It's yeah. like safe for toddlers, but like yeah. my kids, I'm, I'm going to this year have a third grader and a second grader. Oh, for school, yeah. And here's another seed. They can easily, they, they can pack these themselves. We have these at our house. Um, and they like to pack them because it's fun. They get to choose what goes in here. And if you guys read our post last week about kids packing their own lunches, this is a great way to, another tool to get your kids excited about packing their own lunches. Okay, Krista, Nola, and Michelle said stab and twist. I totally did it. Good job, lady. Oh, great. It worked. I stabbed and twisted, and I have... A seed-free <laughs> avocado. But now it, my seed is stuck in my knife, but that's okay. Better than okay. stuck in the avocado. So, Amy, do you want to talk about those? I'm just going to keep going back here. Okay, she's sorry. going to be making guacamole. I'll tell you the rest of the taco salad. So, um, we have this on our website, too, as like, as I called it a post-assembly required, and it's a way to send, um, no problem, because it won't come out. <laughs> it's a way to send a little taco salad separated to school, and um, what I like about this is, um, it's just black beans, it's not ground beef, so you don't have to worry about it sitting in your child's backpack for three hours. Natalie was glad when she saw it because she says, oh, I thought I was going to have to make ground taco meat last night to do it. But no, it's just black beans. I like to add a little bit of taco seasoning to my black beans, and so you can do that. But this is also great to keep separate because... Like, if you have a dressing or a yogurt or something for your taco salad, you don't want that all mixed in before school or before it's being eaten. But cheese, that's good to keep separate, too. And we've got the black beans. Um, okay, guys. And guacamole. Let me show you what's in here. So you can see I assembled this in, Sorry. what was that, like one minute? So all it is is two medium avocados, a, a tomato, some plain Greek yogurt, paprika, salt and pepper, and some lime juice. And we're going to blend this up. That looks good. And then we're going to try it. And Sorry for the noise while she blends. Okay, this is going to be quick. Containers, so that's nice about it. Stain resistant, dishwasher safe, 
freezer safe, so if you wanted to just freeze your beans or something like that, you can portion them out and freeze them that way. Okay, you want to try it? Oh, man. Mm. Wow. It's super creamy. That is really creamy. Like, That's the creamiest really guacamole I've creamy, ever had. creamiest guacamole I've ever had. Well, and the fun thing about these containers is Natalie told you last week her, about her favorite lunch bags. So these fit perfectly in them. These still can be her favorite lunch bag, and we still can have a favorite snack container because they work so well together. So I wanted to show you guys. Okay. Whoa. So this is, oh no, that's something else. <laughs> this is our taco salad. Did you already show oh, all Oh no, I only saw this part. I thought that was no. all there was. Okay, so I want to show you how to pack a taco salad for lunch. This is totally something that my second grader loves. So we just have our chopped lettuce. And the great thing about these, you can pack it the night before. Yeah. Because all this can just go in the fridge. Or like or you can separate or it. Or you're like, well, I don't fridge. want my tortilla chips in the fridge. So Which it would be fine if they were. Yeah. But But you don't have to. But maybe you don't want soggy tortilla chips. I don't know. And these are nice little containers for other just storage. Whatever. Yeah, so, okay, you get your guacamole, your lettuce, and here we have some sliced tomatoes. And I'm going to stick the whole lunch bag in the fridge with our container, mm -hmm. and it's not going to spill, it's not going to leak, it's not going to mess mess with each other. Because mm -hmm. sometimes even if you have a bento box, it, it'll combine, like, once it gets tipped. And you don't always have that lids for all, all the components of your lunch. Yeah. And so, anyways, then we've got our other toppings, our black beans and such, and even if you don't want to stack them, you can. I like to keep them together, but it's all in there. Your lunch is ready to go. Oh, it's, so dumb. it's so good. So, the other thing, you guys, honestly, I like to be organized, and I hate when my kids bring their lunch home, and it's like oozing and gross everywhere. <laughs> like, no joke, one time, my daughter, she had green peas. Oh. And she left her lunchbox in her backpack. She didn't tell me. It was like a week. <laughs> and I get in there and I pull it out and the green peas. Oh, it was the sickest thing. They leaked in her lunchbox. They leaked in her backpack. Like gross. They were weepy and green sweaty and moldy. Yeah. It like traumatized me. <laughs> so now I'm like a huge believer in containing food. Containing it. <laughs> because I don't want to relive that. And I made her clean it up so she'd learn her lesson because I'm like, surely she has to clean this up. She'll never do it again. And she totally did it. So two times wasn't enough. But we just solved the problem yeah. right there. Okay, my second one that I wanted to share is a stinky tuna lunch. And the reason I call it stinky tuna is because what kid wants to bring tuna to school? Cool, even if they love tuna, like nobody, like that's kind of um, a smelly situation. But a, a nice thing about the containers, <laughs> <Smelly> you, <laughs> a nice thing about the containers is like the odor, it's odor free. So like after you clean this out, you're not going to smell tuna in the container for the next so great. couple weeks. And um, it keeps the smell in there while your kid is bringing it to school. But and they're portion controlled. So I don't need to send two cups of tuna right. to school. Like, I can just send enough for the sandwich. Well, if you guys are wondering, these big containers hold a full cup. And then um, the small one is a third a cup, I think. Please hold. I'll tell you. <laughs> while she's getting that, I will also say that if you try to send a tuna yes. sandwich to school... I never put the bread with the tuna. They put it together after they get to lunch. Because when you put it together ahead of time and put it in a sandwich bag, the bread gets soggy and, and nobody wants to eat it at that point. So here's an easy way. So, so I like tuna with some Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I like to chop up um, some celery or some pickles or cucumbers or something like that. So that is in my middle container. Oh, so you already put the celery in. I didn't, because I didn't know we had celery. Oh, <laughs> this is just tuna with yogurt. But I would if I were home. I would put that in there. Or you could put it separate. Yeah, you could. So I also like bagels for 
sausage sandwiches because they're like they're just heartier. They're mm -hmm. they're um like it's just easier not to fall apart if you have something wet. They're mm -hmm. just like kind of more solid. But you know what I was thinking would be fun is some crackers with the tuna that you could just use like a dip. Oh, I mean, yeah. how delicious is that? And then I've got some It's like some those tuna packs. packs. Have you ever seen the oh, tuna yeah. salad packs? Yeah. But why buy disgusting. That? Why buy that commercial when this probably cost me a dollar? Yeah. I and mean, the ones you can buy are like this big. So if you have a fourth true. grader, that's not enough it's food. not enough. But totally. like a whole cup, mm -hmm. that's plenty of food. Yeah. So crackers, And if you're like, tuna, well, lettuce. I need more crackers, problem solved, guys. Yeah. <laughs> more Everybody needs more We're about crackers. solving problems in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, love it, love it. Okay, so that was my number two. Um, What's your number the two? The other thing I was going to say, these replace Ziploc bags. Because how sure. many Ziploc bags do you guys go through? Oh, yeah. You might need a couple. You might need a few bags, but for all your other supplies. Yeah, and then, you know, we're saving. It's eco-friendly. There's mm -hmm. Schools produce a ton. Oh, no, garbage. So mm -hmm. what are we going to do to cut down on that? I think mm -hmm. it's good. Okay. Uh, my number two is... Veggies. Veggies. Okay. So the reason I like these for veggies is because you can do multiple dips. Because mm. um, you know how you always want to send... I didn't realize you were doing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Like homemade ranch or... So today yeah. in here, we have hummus. And we also have some homemade ranch, so they can choose. Mm -hmm. um, now, we're showing these snack containers a lot. These are the snack, these are the go stack. If you want smaller portions, if you have little teeny kids, or I, I actually prefer this for dips. And I prefer this but, for like hiking, because <clears throat> you don't want to carry a lot of heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for like soft fruit and things like that, that if you had mm -hmm. soft fruit in like a kiwi, bag, kiwi, kiwi and or berries, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, then that keeps them nice and keeps their. Shape. So it keeps it, a whole cup of veggies. So I didn't fill these completely full. So I have carrots in one, and then celery and pea pods in the other. Um, this is a great like snack or to put in your lunch it's kind of big for like a whole lunch but yeah but it's good for like you know when you pick your kids up from school and they go straight to dance then have some of this yeah or they have to bring it to soccer practice yes. or yeah. whatever sport practice you have yeah after school is really great for this and you could do the same thing with fruit and amy's gonna yeah yeah so mine last one is a nut butter with fruit dip and I like the dip in the small container at the top because you don't need that much. Mm -mm. And the fruit takes up so much space. But what I've done for the nut butter, and I need to mix this a little better, but a lot of times nut butter is um, hard to dip because it's so thick. And your app, like it slides off your apple yeah. or whatever. Especially like some of the natural ones, like almond butter. Yes, almond yes, butter this is almond butter. So I added a little bit of Greek yogurt to make it creamier. And I didn't do this yet, but if I was at home, I would add a little bit of regular milk or coconut milk to make it even dippier. Mm. So that's how I turn nut butter into a dip, is with some yogurt, some milk, and then apples. <laughs> which are great but the great thing about this is you can also have celery for your nut butter totally um, so um, Gina just suggested car snacks which we kind of talked about mm -hmm. great great car snacks because they're all contained and you can get like say like you have three kids one two three here's your snacks kids <laughs> pass them back and you have to remember that it's in your car so you can take it out because you'll never smell it because it yeah, contains the odor. Again. <laughs> so okay. you gotta remember, so take it out of your car, clean it out. And you guys, I love that you can like pre-pack these because you can have yours pre-packed for the night before for your lunches and for your car snacks after school. And look how nice they're gonna look stacked right in your fridge. Easily organized. Okay, so that's my number three. Apples, celery, and nut butter. Yep. So, what else? Is what that it? You? Oh, oh, that was it. Oh, we're good. Yeah, so, yeah. So, what else if you can get a 
them in stores or only online? Only in line. In line. Online. online. With Square.com, yes. like we said, only until Monday you can get a set for five bucks because it's 50% off. And if you use the coupon code SHK and buy two or more. Otherwise, yeah, so it's $10. And it's on Amazon, too. You can get it on Amazon, mm -hmm. but you can't get the coupon code on Amazon. Right. And so Whisquare.com, just so you know, they're, they're a local company for us. This is another reason we wanted to work mm -hmm. with them. And they actually are just like two miles from our house. And so we drive by their, their offices every day, and we're like, oh, we love this. But um, the other thing I want to say, they have is awesome. when you're packing your kids' lunch, it's really good to promote variety. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think another thing these snack like, containers mm -hmm. do, because you want to fill the different ones. Like, look how much variety you have with this, this veggie one. Or variety, portion control. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we sell our plates because we, like, the kids like to have their food separated. And this just goes right along the line with that. So you don't have to, food doesn't have yes. to mix together. Okay, so we have a question. Is this BPA free? Yes, yes it is. Yes, I did read that. Yeah, it's totally BPA free. Um, dishwasher safe. But not microwave safe. But you wouldn't microwave any of that. No. So that'd be that's weird. Good. <laughs> microwave your tuna. <laughs> to put it in the microwave. Yeah. So, yes. Um, okay. Oh, we have another apple tip. Okay. So, Marion soaks the apples in water and a little salt. Oh, and you've done baking um, soda before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the ones for toddlers are called Go Stacks. And these are great for the park. I've brought these, like, just when we're... Or um, if you're sitting in church for three hours, you can just stick it in your bag. <laughs> or do that? like if you have to go to the doctor's office, I don't know if any of you have brought your four kids to the doctor's office, but I have, <laughs> and it's a nightmare. So and if it's in person, and I'll say even too, like um, a, a big thing they promote on their website is to use it for protein powders. But I, um, if I had babies, I would use it for formula. If I was, yeah. you know, making milk bottles. Or well, if you want to know what's the worst, when you have crackers in your purse for those emergency <laughs> doctor's office visits, and then they get smashed, and then you open the crackers, and there's cracker pieces everywhere. True. Look at my crackers right here. They are not going to get smashed. No, you can like... Look at this perfect whole cracker. In fact, It'll our video guy way. dropped this on the floor before we started, and it's still good. <laughs> no broken no crackers. No broken crackers. My so, <laughs> if you go onto the Whisquare website, it's snack the snack containers tab. That's what you want to look for. So, any snack container, buy more than two or two or more, and you get the fifty percent discount. So, yep. okay. Thanks so for joining us. If you're watching this after the fact, leave in the comments your ideas for a variety, like snack varieties, lunch varieties that you like to include all in one to send with your kids, and we can have a lot more ideas. Yep. Okay. So see you next week. And if you're new here too, Natalie and I have been doing Facebook Lives every Thursday about 1 o'clock Mountain Time, so you can keep checking back in. Or you can click on the video tab on our Facebook page. Or I'm going to start uploading these to YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll now we see share you in any of those places. Our favorite recipes and also our favorite products. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is what makes your life easier, right? Right. Okay. Thanks, guys. See ya. We can cook.